I don't know what's up with us and lawyers today, but we have another guest for you, and she is a lawyer by training who has found a passion for media and the creative industry. She has worked as a media personality, co-producer, live TV host, and news anchor, as well as produce podcasts, host live events, do voiceovers, as well as scripts. Along with all of this, is um, she's also a content creator who currently produces a number of shows on YouTube. Amongst all the feather into in on in a cap, she influenced. She's an influencer. Who enjoys brainstorming and bringing to reality ideas which optimize brands profile and visibility no cap ladies and gentlemen let's make welcome Winfrey Dania Okolo Hey. Are you doing? You're basically a media I'm brave. Guru. I'm Everything brave. Everything around. See, sometimes space. when people introduce me with all of that, I'm wondering why you're talking. To yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So much feathers to you, Cap. Uh -huh. Shout out to you. Thank so, you. So um, let's focus on this. Um, being a media person. Okay. No. Before we even talk about that, let's talk about Nigeria. Today is Independence Day. Happy Independence Day. Happy Independence Happy Day. Day. Happy you have a touch of, of green. Uh, yes, yes, that was. It felt does as point. well, but we sadly we can't we see. We can't see. see. Yeah. <laughs> 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 all right, so um, what do you think about Nigeria at 60? First of all, I'm a patriotic Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Nigerian, I say Nigeria. <laughs> and like Nigeria at 60, I mean, 60 is a whole lot of years. But at the same time, just as we, I, I was <laughs> for the earlier segment, right, yeah. where someone actually spoke about how Nigeria is actually kind of retarded. Mm. And that's actually the truth, mm. right? Nothing good comes easy, but the truth is that we have not necessarily progressed from where we started. Mm -hmm. As much as we say, okay, fine, we're no longer under um, colonialism mm. and all that kind of stuff, mm. but then again, we still see traces of it everywhere. Of and this one is even worse, because you know how they say, when they do you jazz from outside, mm. compared to when they not do it from your own village, your yeah. family member, yeah. it's different. <laughs> so that's the way I feel feel is happening here. I mean, when the other outsiders were doing us, we know that, fine, that was what yeah. it was. Yeah. But now, oh, we are literally the ones doing ourselves, mm. and then mm. again, is a totally different level. So, yeah, we have made progress, no doubt. We are not where we are meant to be. And then earlier, you were actually, you actually spoke about how, oh, Nigerian youth, we'd rather just do easy stuff to get the money instead yeah. of working hard mm. and everything. I would disagree with you because mm. Nigerian youth are no, very not to get the money. I was talking about um, going out there to protest and participating in politics. We're you not know, even talking about those. True, really. fine, true. But mm. Because I feel we already know the it system, won't work. Yeah. We mm. know the system. We know how we'll yeah. be intimidated. Have we tried? Have we? Well, we don't think we've tried. We've seen people who, who, who I tried. I, 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 saw tweet, I saw a tweet. Just um, a few. No, have you actually, tried? I, I, we've yes, seen, I have. We've you seen have. What have you? Okay, what exactly have you done? Writing, being on this table, I'm playing my part. I feel oh, <laughs> really? That's what everybody's doing yeah, in yeah. their own little corner, uh, doing their own thing. I saw someone that mentioned how, like, um, it would be crazy to ask anyone to die for the country because mm. we've seen a lot of people do that do and nothing has happened. Mm -hmm. um, we, I think we forget. It's very easy to yeah. blame the youth today, but if you look at Fela's generation, I think they had a lot of those people that we we're looking right. for now, yeah. and nothing has happened. Nothing so happened. nobody true. wants to die for nothing. Very people true. are still dying for other things, just true. not Nigeria just in this country. Yeah. People yeah. are dying for religion. People yes. are dying for love. People are dying for for. Some, sometimes even in work, you find people who have worked still dead because they believed in that. So it's not like we're not yeah. capable. Yeah. We just don't see the We've essence of hope. it. We've lost hope. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah that, that is what I'm yeah. trying to restore. I don't mm -hmm. want us to lose hope completely because mm -hmm. if we lose hope, what about our children? What about our children's yeah. children? Yeah. So we need to keep the hope no, alive. Definitely. Yeah, but yeah, that's yeah, what we brought Winfrey yeah. for. Yeah. 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 But, 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 but Nigeria, Nigeria, <laughs> Nigeria is the talk of the day. We can't take that away. So happy birthday, Nigeria, once again. And so let's get back into this, right? Let's talk about freedom of speech you know that is also something we still battle in this part mm -hmm, of the world mm -hmm. especially for media personalities and with the NBC authoritarianism what's your take on that okay first of all I will want to start by saying that media is one of the most strongest tools mm. I mean I think right after money mm. is media right. do you understand True. and it is impressive what media can actually do just that we are not directing it through the right channel or to the right thing. Mm -hmm. For instance, now we just finished Big Brother Niger. Mm. Hello. Somebody actually commented and said, okay, fine, if Lacon's <laughs> followers alone 
mm. fans alone voted for a particular president, we will definitely yeah, win. Sure. Do you understand? But how, mm. ma how many of the youth would you say are actively involved with this? And that is because I feel they've honestly lost hope. Yeah. And they see they, they don't think there's a point because they yeah. believe even if they vote, nothing will happen. Do you understand? So now, back to your question, talking about the media, right? Freedom of speech and all of that. So, of course, we know the um, and, and NBC, NBC, the new code and all of that, the fine of... Um, a, a media platform mm -hmm. and all of that mm -hmm. that, that just happened not too long ago yeah. right and everything the truth is maybe any other place that will work but yeah. honestly when we're talking about demo democracy that do that is Does that doesn't work? make not sense yeah. it doesn't make any sense mm -hmm. there's freedom of speech freedom of speech actually is what is literally what fuels democracy Absolutely. in my opinion because mm -hmm. If we are voting for people, that's the idea now. The idea is that we are voting. In the end, eh, democracy is, 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 is for us. Mm. The country is for mm. us. The idea of a president is someone to lead us, not someone to reign over us. Mm. Do you understand? So sure. the idea, what media does in democracy is literally voice what that, the people yeah. have in their mind. Sure. So you cannot, do you understand? No doubt. Certain people have used that in wrong ways and all of that. Mm. But then again, that doesn't mean we should cap it. Because what we see obviously happening now is that people are literally doing certain things strategically to restrict what we the people are trying to say yeah. through media. Yeah. And mm. that shouldn't be it. I mean, it, it's, it's interesting that you brought that up. Even with the whole Lekon example, yeah. I feel uh, when you mention hope, um, and your response, I feel like they work so ha um, hand in hand because this is another attempt to break people's hope. Because True. once people don't have a voice, I mean, yeah. no one would even concentrate on Lekko if they thought that they would vote and then their figures wouldn't Whoa. show. Exactly. Um, a lot of the times, people like that show because there is a lot of transparency yes. and, and they feel like it, it makes sense to get involved in that. Mm -hmm. But I want to ask you though, you did mention that there is people who try to abuse it sometimes, yeah. you know, and, and all of that stuff. If, if I had given you the power, and, and say we do need moderation even in terms of freedom of speech because you can't use it to hurt people you can't yes. hate speech and all yeah. that so yes. what would that look like for you like what would you use to correct the NBC and say okay you're going too far let's do it this way okay so what I think I'll basically do is find credible platforms that mm. are doing this thing the right way no doubt everything see the truth is there must be an artificial or there mm. must be error right sure. what is error error is taking the truth and taking it to the extreme right mm. so no doubt people will abuse it now mm. set guidelines how this thing should go right mm. make sure the people that have these platforms have the right to have it have mm. like the, the right experience, the right practice. Mm. Do you understand? Let the, in, with every organization, there probably is an underlying message. You know, mm. Understand that message. And then when it comes... But, but the truth is, I don't even think this conversation, we're there yet. Because mm. what we're seeing they're trying to do is to stop it. Yeah. That's how I feel. Yeah. I, I feel they're literally trying to make us not say certain Speak. things yeah. and all of that, trying to cover Silences. up their When you move mad like that, you don't want accountability. Every, yes. Anyone who's involved in something wrong, yes. and if you have a voice and people are listening, they have to be accountable to those opinions because yes. you have to respond. So, yes. I mean, I get that. But I wanted to ask you, sorry, Fred, yeah, no, um, um, I wanted to ask you, though, away from Embassy for a second, mm. you, you've, you, you've given a lot to the media yeah, space in terms of content creation and all of that stuff. Um, yeah. I still, and, and I like that you mentioned in the beginning of the introduction that after money is media yeah, yeah, yeah. but i don't think that it's, it's still as lucrative but i, I don't know i don't want to speak for you mm -hmm. what has been your experience with media and 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 money okay so basically no it's when we say it can be i think it's getting more Better. lucrative mm -hmm. now because i mean we have influencers we have people that don't even speak they literally just come and just do stuff and mm -hmm. everybody's crazy about it do you understand and they do that and everything when it comes to the real media, the, mm. I mean, not too long ago, I was opportune to host um, the Pan-African um, um, summits that mm. actually had photographers from around the world. We mm. had the likes of um, 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 Tolani, who actually um, um, takes photos of the vice president and all of that. And then we had different um, people mm. in that forum, right? And everybody spoke about how the photography that makes the change, the, 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 the photographers that are social conscious 
and are interested in going to these grassroots areas mm. and going into the government spaces mm. to take pictures and videos and create documentaries from that, they are restricted wow. and mm. they're definitely not paid. So now I'll rather be a Davido photographer mm. and all of that because of the sure. because of everything that comes with mm. the journalist. Mm. And it's weird how we literally don't see that. For instance, now the lady that left here spoke about how copy is very good and very big on branding mm. and all of that, mm -hmm. which makes sense. What makes copy copy today? Mm. The fact that she has enough cameras focusing on her to show you that she loves sure. pink hair and every yeah. time you see her, she's going to be on pink mm -hmm. hair. Mm. It is the camera that has made her that popular. Right. Do you understand? But we don't see that. Let's say we are transparent enough to ha allow photographers who are interested in creating social change into the affairs that are really happening. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. That alone will project Nigeria in a different light. Mm -hmm. So in the end, everybody mm -hmm. wants a cameraman who's going to take my good side and True. not my bad mm -hmm. side. Mm -hmm. Once I see someone that's taking my, my bad side, I have a problem with it. Mm -hmm. And that's not going to take speaking us of, Speaking of that, you know, every, a lot of people don't see the bad side of media personalities. They yeah. just see the glory. They see us looking glamorous on TV and they feel like mm -hmm. they have it all together. So being in the industry for so long, finally, what mm -hmm. would you say are some of the challenges that we face as media personalities? Uh. <laughs> Aside the money, I'm you already to touched on that. <laughs> Uh, I need another sip for that question. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so the money is one of it. And we all of know course. money makes the world go mm, round. So sure. of course, when the problem gets in the bag, there's definitely mm. going to be a problem. You really need to love it yep. to focus and continue there mm. no matter what. I mean, anything takes time. Everything takes time mm. and persistence. So yeah, there's that. But I think one of a very one major issue I think we actually face is in the area of getting content. Apart from me, I, I do lifestyle. I mean, I walk into a supermarket now or a restaurant, mm. I'm gonna eat their food and say, oh, I mm. give you media and they're happy. Mm. But then again, where it matters, mm. right? Getting content. Not too long ago, we had the former Minister of Aviation have a press conference and we all know how that turned out, yep. right? Wow. The guy literally asked you a question. Answer the question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to deal? answer the question, mm. say, oh. I'm not answering the question. Mm -hmm. uh, next question, please. Do you understand? We have, we've had different situations. I mean, I, I watch CNN, um, I watch the presidential station per time, and of course, we see how they go at Trump. Mm -hmm. Sometimes he flares up, he gets on everything, mm -hmm. but in the end, nobody is literally go like, what that man did that day. Probably, it should be illegal, actually. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. I'm asking you a question. You're telling me, you're, you're washing me. Why? Mm -hmm. well. If you don't have anything to hide. Answer the question. I Answer the yeah. question. I, I know we're really passionate about this topic because it affects us. <laughs> so, but we need to go. So on that note, I hope I've been able to convince you yeah. and not to confuse you that it's not so easy <laughs> being us.